to 20 minutes are going to be very important for you, for me and for all of us, for our future. We live in VUCA world, volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous. 90% of things are not in our hands. What are those 90% things in this VUCA environment? Geopolitical issues, war-like situation and artificial intelligence. Are you guys scared of artificial intelligence? How many of you are scared of artificial intelligence? I am scared too. So I will repeat this statement. 90% of things are beyond our control. But the good news is 10% of things are in our hands. And if we give our 200% to the 10% of things which are in our hands, we can do wonders. Anybody want to guess what is HI? Let me elaborate. It's human intelligence. How many of you think that you can compete with artificial intelligence? Anyone who thinks that you can compete with artificial intelligence? Think one more time. Let me elaborate this. As of today, chat GPT, IQ is, guess how much? First, let me ask, the IQ of Einstein was 160. Chat GPT's IQ as of today is 155. And think about the recent innovation happened in chat GPT world, that is Sora. Sora has even surpassed the IQ of Einstein where you just enter the text and it creates amazing videos for you. So in a nutshell, just imagine now, when Android system was introduced back in 2015 or 14 or 15, that time the power of Android was limited. There were a lot of issues. But now Android is one of the most powerful machine in the world. Similarly, imagine after 10 or 5 or 10 or 15 instances of chat GPT, say chat GPT 10 or chat GPT 15, is going to have much more intelligent system, which is nothing but 1500 or 1700 IQ level. You can't even imagine what it will do. Therefore, it is not possible to compete with AI in this world of artificial intelligence and super intelligence. What we need to do therefore is, so my today's topic is from fear to future, humanity and AI together. We have to find out how we can leverage the artificial intelligence to define our future. In this phase of life, the person who it's not about AI who will take our job. It is the person using AI will take our job. I repeat this statement, very important for all of us. It is not AI who will take our job. It is the person using AI will take our job. So be that person. So there is a recent study which happened, it's a working document by Harvard Business University and couple of other universities together. They have collaborated with Boston Consulting Group where they identified some hundreds of folks from Boston Consulting and some researchers. And they have done a study which they call it Jack Technological Frontier. Why Jack? Because the scope of AI is increasing day by day and recent paper you can go and download from Google Jack Technological Frontier September 2023 edition says when the half of the folks given the tasks to perform without any chat GPT or AI tools and they, they were given some small medium and complex type of jobs what was seen is Whatever was under the jack technological frontier of artificial intelligence, the artificial intelligence, what it could understand, it was giving a performance improvement by 40%. Whereas the tasks which are beyond the jack technological frontier, artificial intelligence were not giving that type of outcome. 
So therefore, this is very important for us to keep an eye on the study on jet technological frontier, how it is evolving day by day. I am going to now take you to future. I want to spend more time now to talk about how our future will look like. Are you guys excited? Shall we get into the glimpse of future? And this is not something science fiction I am going to talk about. I am going to show you what exactly is going to happen or maybe more worst can happen when we get into future. Just imagine year 2050. It's a year 2050 and you get up in the morning. Your AI assistant is talking to you to create not only your schedule but prepare a breakfast for you by considering your own diet preferences, dietary preferences of your own, it's creating your breakfast. And the moment you step out of your home, there is an automatic self-driving car waiting for you to drop you to office. Not just about reaching office, your office is 100% virtual where you are interacting with all the colleagues throughout every corner of the world. And not to, not to mention that when you are going back to your home, you are meeting your folks and friends virtually and you are celebrating virtual dinner events with them. Let's now talk about what other industries are going to transform with the help of AI. Let's start with the most important one, healthcare. In healthcare, in diagnostics, what AI is going to do is, it is going to have the information of thousands of x-rays, MRI scans and your own health records including the wearables what you are wearing right now. And it will predict and diagnose the problem which is going to occur otherwise which is very difficult or impossible as of today. When we get into now drug discovery, any future pandemic, AI will help us to develop the medicine much faster based on the previous historical research data it has and the algorithm which we are training AI to make it better. When we get into now, this is going to be the future. I am really doubtful whether it will happen by 2030, 2040 in India or not. But in rest of the countries, in a place where there is a limited population and more controlled environment, you will see the roads specifically designed for self-driving cars. But in India, by 2050, I believe this will happen. This is another area which you all should know. Automatically, cars and all the machinery AI will analyze that what are the abnormalities or anomalies in the system and it will fix it well in advance. When we get into now finance sector, fraud detection is a key problem statement as of today. With the help of artificial intelligence, it will identify all the patterns which are going wrong and it will identify and highlight that fraud detection for us. Now, we all love to do trading. We all go to YouTube, we search which are the best stocks and we trade. With the help of AI, very soon it will have more precision algorithms to predict the market and invest appropriately for the maximum return on investment. Let's move on to manufacturing and smart factories. You will not need any of your staff members who, who can manage the factories, most of the things will be managed by robots or artificial intelligence. And what about quality control? Quality control will be done more precision way and more precise way and accurately with the help of artificial intelligence. Let's talk about our favorite topic, shopping. As of now, we go and do online shopping, we can see reviews, everything when we do online shopping. It is going to transform even the in-person shopping experience or shopping mall experience. Whenever you enter any shopping mall, it will give you a personalized shopping experience with the help of virtual reality, artificial intelligence, a lot of new algorithms getting developed. 
Inventory management is all going to be 100% automated, predictable, where you just need to plan out the stock in hand and then AI and its algorithms will guide you when you need to fill up the stock, when is this the time, right time, peak time for you to invite and order more stock for you so that you never run out of your inventory. This is already happening guys and if you are, if you are using Google TV, it provides you curated content based on your watching preferences and it is going to go further in a next level in next 10 to 20 years. Gaming development and gaming experience is going to go to all together next level. So how about agriculture field which is quite important for us. Recently a company called John Deere Tractors Limited, they have implemented AI in their tractors where the tractors have a camera, intelligent camera installed when they roam around in any of the agricultural fields, the camera detects the distinguished crop and the weeds and with its precision identification, it goes and adds some herbicide to the, to the weeds only to kill those weeds and get a better outcome as a production outcome out of the crop quality and production of the crop. Similarly, a lot of precision farming is going to happen over the period of next 10 to 20 years. When we talk about livestock farming, it will have more provision ways to identify the diseases in livestock, appropriately filter or monitor it appropriately so that you get better livestock in future. When we get into energy field or energy grid management, this one is more of identifying what is the consumption, what is the production and how we can integrate and reduce that gap by using artificial intelligence. And similarly, the appropriate energy predictive maintenance, for example, there is a battery which is going to die soon. AI will predict those parameters and maybe Mintbell is going to have its, up to its capacity. So it will do the load sharing and all those predictive analysis to make sure you get optimum return on investment on your energy grid management. When we talk about telecom, this is my favorite topic, I work for a telecom company, network optimization. You will have more predictable network in your environment based on your application usage, based on your experience, based on your user data mining, whatever work we do is going to be very well optimized. We call it full stack observability, which will provide you full end to end visibility of your network and where things are going wrong before even they occur. Customer support and service with the help of chatbots, AI assistance, it will serve you 24 by 7 by talking to you virtually or whatever way you want to communicate and it will provide you best in class service based on the knowledge which is carries from artificial intelligence. Education is another field which is going to get transformed where every student will be learning based on their strengths and their priorities what they want to learn instead of just giving them all the subjects to learn and you know uh, and understand instead of that we are going to make it more customized learning for each and every student so that they get maximum return out of whatever time they are spending and they become better leaders in future and similarly the grading system is also going to change where AI will automatically grade and do that grading system so that the professors and teachers can spend more time with coaching the individuals and students instead of spending overhead operations time. When we talk about now the security which is most important component as of today, the facial recognition or city management security is a key aspect of today. 
we can identify certain folks with the help of facial recognition and monitor them their movement across city and take appropriate actions this is already happening in couple of countries in europe and this is going to get better day by day cyber security is another area where lot of research is going on i would say cyber ai is future where you can detect all the anomalies signature attacks which are going to happen in your environment or if it is happening in one area you can avoid replicating that to remaining areas by using cyber ai technology which is cloud hosted now i am getting into a very important topic it is in our hands ai i was talking all about good things about ai but ai can also get into this imagine that you are getting into this type of environment where you press a button and ai is behaving against you therefore my idea for today is it's in your hands you please be the responsible ai leader each one of you attending in person and and going to watch from remote or over youtube or tedx channel you all are future ai leaders and it is your responsibility to learn and take appropriate decisions remember this if you really want to sustain and survive in this future of artificial intelligence world use your common sense and continue to think take talk to people and continue to build your network creativity matters experiment try something different use your common sense again and be a responsible ai leader with this i want to thank you all for attending my session